Enough of an autopsy for you? Emma? What? You told me to annihilate her. <laughs> they had to cut to the music. You should have heard what I said to her afterwards. You said enough on air about her husband running off? What? You heard that? You were bullying her, Emma, in a piece that was supposed to be about mental health. I've got to go. Tammy! I thought we were off air. We had a technical glitch. Look, uh, take 15, we've gone to pre-record. I'm just checking with our editorial team how to handle this. I need a word. I think we've said enough already, don't you? Emma, listen to me, please. We are being played. What? How could I tell you? So, things got a tad heated earlier during our Auntie M slot. So thanks for coming back to set the record straight. Now, it seems the real beef here is the clash between conventional medicine and homeopathy. Something, Doc, that you describe to be complete BS. Do you care to elaborate on that? Not really. The truth is, I've never used homeopathic remedies myself, so um, I'm not really the person to ask. I mean, Susan here is the expert. Uh, didn't you say that it was nothing more than a placebo? Actually, a lot of GPs use homeopathic remedies alongside conventional medicine. And I think the important thing to remember is that regardless of whichever field you work in, we should all be open to different methodologies. I mean, what will work for one person won't necessarily work for the other. I think that's the beef. Wouldn't you agree, Susan? Absolutely. And although I encourage my patients to use natural remedies, I always defer to GPs like Emma because they do such a wonderful job. So, Tam, if your listeners have any other questions, I mean, after all, that is what we're here for, not just for your amusement. I can't. Thanks, guys. Great work. Oh, so we're off air. You're sure this time? It was just a bit of fun. It's entertainment. Is that what you call it? I'm going to be late. What for? A hot date? Charity work, if you must know, at the hospital. Hmm. You're welcome back. It's a regular slot. Well, I'm still waiting for an apology. Sorry. Thank you. You still haven't answered the question. <laughs> well, I'll come back. But it's my slot and I decide the content. We do have editorial guidelines. Yes, which I will follow. Take it or leave it. Fine. OK. What about me? Oh, I'm sure you'll come back, Sue. I mean, you've got such a great face for radio. Age before beauty. Pearls before swine. <laughs>